Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Depending on where you live, you may think you have a pretty good idea of what bad weather feels like. However, with record breaking heat waves and devastating floods experienced just this year, most scientists agree that climate change is making weather more extreme. To help raise awareness of this, the world's first public storm simulator has been launched in Nordborg, Denmark. Beat the storm is comprised of two simulators that allow people to experience an up to a category 2 hurricane that has winds of over 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour. Trolls Nim Anderson, project manager at Universe Science Park where the simulators are located, said, Beat the storm engages people at all ages, allowing them to experience senses that can't be experienced in any other way. He added, This activity is a way to explore the wind and raise interest about this element of nature, and everyone loves it. Our aim has always been to make science fun and, in doing so, New York and Tokyo as a result of rising temperatures. Plus, inspire our visitors to become explorers and problem solvers. Research suggests that more tropical cyclones are going to strike populous mid-latitude cities like Beijing. Scientists have found that the record-breaking rainfall that caused flooding across Germany and Belgium in July was made up to nine times more likely by climate change. A damning, united in science, global climate assessment from the World Meteorological Association was also released in September. It revealed that the world is experiencing increasingly high global temperatures and destructive climate-driven floods, droughts and heat waves. According to Tom Knutson, senior scientist at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, while a warmer climate may not increase storm frequency, the ones that do form have a greater chance of becoming stronger. The Beat the Storm activity aims to raise awareness of climate-driven extreme weather by offering a first-hand experience of the high winds of a Category 2 storm. Suitable for people aged 5 to 80. The activity also educates individuals on the perils and consequences of navigating hurricanes. It pits participants against increasingly strong winds while they make their way through a wind tunnel to push a button at the other end. Special effects can place visitors in cities, mountains, forest or deserts, while they try to make themselves as aerodynamic as possible. They can also learn about the science of storms, with information about aerodynamics, wind energy and physics. The attraction was invented by Storm Adventures Limited, whose founder is an athlete in wind sports disciplines, such as wingsuit skydive. Ingus Orgstalms, founder of Beat the Storm, said, We plan to build 100 of such storm simulators across the world to allow visitors of science and entertainment centers, amusement parks, and other places to experience wind. Starting from a breeze of 22 miles per hour, 35 kilometers per hour, for kids. Up to a category 2 hurricane. Earth's tropical regions, the most diverse areas in the world, are facing an unprecedented collapse of biodiversity and ecosystems, a study reveals. Researchers discovered that the combination of climate change, Extreme weather and human activity is creating a perfect storm, bringing the regions to the brink of catastrophe. More than 100 locations of tropical forests and coral reefs were mapped after being devastated by extreme climate events such as drought, floods and hurricanes. Experts involved in the study claim the only way to prevent further damage is to cut carbon dioxide emissions. Read more here if you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Peace for everyone.